Well, are you ready to lose? Your Pokemon League challenge ends with me. Not if I can help it. Alright, let's get on this. I don't know where I'm breaking these up, so this might be episode two by now. Um, if it is, welcome back. If not, please please stay with me. You have Seedra. Oh, I did not expect that. That could be a little bit of a problem for poor old Pins. Um, try a Toxic then, in case it has something that'll knock me out immediately. Because I don't have anything that's super effective against a Seedra. That's weird that he has Seedra. Careful. Okay. That's not good. Um... Shoot. Try Outrage, see how much that does. Just because I've never used it before. Like, that's what I was planning to use to take down his Dragonair. But, um... <laughs> he didn't start with one of those. Okay. Pins is down. Wow. Okay. Nuts. It's al already proving more difficult than any of the, the last three. And it's literally just his first Pokemon. And not even a fully evolved one. Because, like, Kingdra's not in this game. But still. Jeez. Like, Dragonair wouldn't have been fully evolved either. But it's a dragon type. This isn't even dragon type. <laughs> Weird. What else is he going to have, then? Did, that, did they, like, severely revamp his team? Aerodactyl is, is is something I expected. I'm pretty sure he has Aerodactyl in Gen 1, right? Send out Sheldon to Scald it. <sighs> yeah. Like, Pikachu wouldn't have been an awful matchup for Aerodactyl, either. But, um, Sheldon's better. Don't flinch me, bro. Don't flinch me, bro. Thank God. Sheldon, you're really coming through today. Can we, can we burn it? Nope. All right. Oh, no, we did! Just didn't happen quite as fast as I expected. So now it, it's, it's attack is nerfed, which is great, because Aerodactyl's only things are, like, speed and attack. So, you know... Um, which I could... Oh, that's gonna hurt a little. Which I could paralyze it at the same time. That is a really freaking cool effect. And it uses the same sound effect that it's always used, and it's such a cool sound effect. That was very nice. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, don't do that again, though. No, no. No, no, no. <laughs> don't do that with somebody with higher special. Because <laughs> yeah. that, that was a great move for Aerodactyl back in the day. Not so much now. Okay. He didn't have Gyarados in Gen 1, did he? I don't remember his Gen 1 team as well as I thought, do I? Was it... I thought it was like two Dragonairs, a Dragonite, Aerodactyl, and was it Gyarados? Was Gyarados the other one? I don't know. Maybe maybe Kingdra is literally the only... the only change to his team then. I don't know. Uh, Pikachu. Use Zippy Zap. Kaboom. And Gyarados is, unsurprisingly, down. Beautiful. That was epic. So literally, so far, the only Pokemon who's had much trouble with Pins, which is unfortunate, because Pins is, like, my best Pokemon. <sighs> Charizard, which I know for a fact he didn't have until Generation 2. I, again, actually, I'm not... Now I'm, now I'm second-guessing myself. Pikachu might be able to beat a Charizard. Let's see. Okay. Um. <laughs> Pikachu. You zippy zap. Boom. Not quite. Not quite. Okay. Hyper Beam. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Charizard's got good special. This is gonna hurt. Still didn't even do half damage. What? 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 Pikachu! You're an O Pikachu! <laughs> Get it! That's ridiculous! <laughs> Why is that so easy? Why did they make this so easy? 
Give him more guys that resist electricity and actually give him a fighting chance. Holy crap. Now here's the Dragonite. Okay. I'm going to keep Pikachu out and try to beat it with Pikachu. I really hope I can't. Just straight up. I hope I can't beat Dragonite with Pikachu. If I can, I'm going to be real disappointed. Like, I can't, I can't even stress enough. Okay, that's a good sign. Pikachu dodged the move, though. Your Dragonite needs to be able to beat my Pikachu. It needs to happen. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Game Gods. It would not have... I'm sorry that Pikachu's crying now. It would not have made sense for his Pokemon to be able to beat Pikachu, though. Or not to be able to beat Pikachu, though. It would not make sense. And also, I wanted to do this. Charizard. Mega Evolve. And then, unlike the other games, it doesn't reset me to the move selection. I have to physically go back over to it. <sighs> go, Blaze. It's a Pokemon I've never used in one of these Let's Plays before. Which um, is, a, is a pretty cool moment. And boom. Down. <sighs> Beautiful. That's it. I hate to admit it, but you are a first class Pokemon trainer. I knew that. But thank you. It's nice. It's nice that others acknowledge it. 11,000 Pokebucks. I still can't believe my dragon's lost to you. Okay, let, let's let's count for a second. Only one of them was a dragon. Like, I, I've seen fans annoyed by the fact that he uses just as many dragon-esque Pokemon as actual dragons in some of the other games. But literally in this game, only one of his Pokemon is a dragon. This line makes no sense. <sighs> Hero, you are now the Pokemon League champion. Feels good to hear that for the very first time. Ever. Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. Or you would have been. But you have one more challenge left. What a shocking twist. There's one more trainer to face. That trainer is... <laughs> Uh, this, is, this is a good good nod to, um, I talk about this a lot. I don't know if you guys know, but in the original games, the original plan was for Professor Oak to be the champion. Your final battle with the rival would have been back on the path leading to the, the badge gates. And, and Professor Oak with the third starter that you guys didn't pick and the team built around it would have been the champion. <laughs> So this is such a this is such a cool nod to that. Hello there, hero. Congratulations on your victory over Lance. Hmm? What's with that surprised look? <laughs> your timing is perfect, Professor. Hero, the one you'll face is Professor Oak. Well, not really. It's Trace. Really? I never would have guessed. <laughs> he beat the Elite Four before you. Yeah, I know, he came here first and he wasn't sitting outside crying when I got here. I ain't I ain't dumb. Uh, he is the Pokemon League champion. Not for long. That's right. In the past, trainers who defeated uh, the Elite Four were only recorded as champions. This time, however, it will be officially establishing the champion as part of the Pokemon League. Professor, what does that even mean? What's the difference? Professor Oak is here to uh, officiate the crowning of the new champion. It seems only fitting that it should be either you or Trace. Uh, you're the... Okay. Is that to explain why the player can leave after they're recorded, but Trace is still in the room or something? I don't know. Um, you're the two who took care of Team Rocket, after all. Now then, head onward uh, to the stage of your final battle. Dragonite's so happy for me. Um, let's heal up again. Um, heal up Pins, who is simultaneously unconscious and also walking behind me. Good battle, though. Like, genuinely, that was a good battle. Um. Um. Ba -da -ba. Still hate this interface. I uh, didn't mean to do that. And, um. I'm gonna go. Not what I meant to do at all. To my candy jar. 
I'm going to give this last rare candy to Spook. Just because, man, he's so far behind my other guys right now, it's not even funny. And I might need him. I don't know. <sighs> give him some quick candies, too. Just just because I can, right? Alright, that's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, so, um... Is there anything else I want to do? Do I want to I give my guys any TMs? What do I have? Hmm. Give rest to somebody. Try to outlast him, but like... I mean, I've, I've fought Trace several times at this point. I'm not, like, worried about it or anything. I could give Sheldon Surf, which is higher power than Scald. Um... Gives mm. my rock slide. I don't know that I need to, right? You know, literally none of my guys can learn superpower except for pins. Okay. I think I think I'm okay, right? I think I think we're good. Let's save up. Here we go. I'm chewing my lip because I'm actually nervous. Okay, is it going to like... Yeah, instantly start it. Okay. Look at you looking all cool. <laughs> Why do I like... When did I start liking this kid? You did it, hero. Oh man, that's great. I've been waiting. I beat the Elite Four and became the champion. You probably heard from the professor, right? Now I'm the champion will part of, be part of the Pokemon League and battle all kinds of trainers. What does that mean? I'm really glad my first opponent turned out to be you, hero. You're the one trainer I want to test my best against, after all. Let's battle, hero. The champion seat is on the line. Okay. I mean, you, you realize I'm, I'm going home in, like, like three days or whatever? So you, can you can just take it back then after I beat you, right? So no hard feelings? Pidgeot to start? All right. We gonna, we gonna sand attack spam? I like this battle background a lot, too. Keep saying that, but it, it hasn't stopped being true. Ooh, interesting. So he, this is his Mega. So pretty. Such a pretty Mega Pokemon. Good job, Pins. Excellent job. But, um... Mega Pidgeot is another one that doesn't really... Like, its stats get better. But it doesn't really, like... Get strong enough to really be worth it without its ability. I don't know, that's weird. The inclusion of Megas in a game where... Um, abilities aren't a thing is just weird. I guess is what I'm driving at. Can we can we not get flinched this time, please? You did so good first turn, Pins. 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 Man, I'm. I expected better from you. Okay. Well, it'll be down to like half health. At the end of this turn, because of the poison, which means Pikachu can come out and mop up, and because you say Pizap is a priority move for some stupid reason, it uh, can't even roost to escape it. Zippy Zap, kaboom! Now there's your Mega gone already, bud. Probably should have saved it, frankly. And um. Who's, who's going to be next? I'm guessing Marowak, right? For Pikachu? <sighs> no, Vileplume. Okay. That's, that's fine. Pikachu, return. 
pop back up on my shoulder. And go, Blaze. Now. Trace, my good friend. I think I would like to show you a real Mega Pokemon. Blaze. Mega Evolve. This is cool. I actually, I actually like this, that you can switch between them. Very neat. Flamethrower! Wasn't, it wasn't a one-hit KO, but I still burned it. That was, that was, that was pretty good. It was, it was, it was just short, though. How disappointing. Ugh. Wing attack, come on. Okay. That's not really gonna help you much there, bud. He didn't have this before, did he? That's pretty cool. That, that, and that did nothing. Okay. Um... Go all out with Outrage. That did a little more. It's got Surf, though, because of course it does. Wow. Blaze is down. That's... unfortunate. And only because he used a Pokémon that is specific specifically suited to beating him. It doesn't really seem seem possible. Yeah. I like that he switches though. I like that the AI for him switches Pokemon when he when he sees the opportunity to do some do better with somebody else. Boom! Spook! Spook! Yes! Actually doing something for once! Holy crap! Uh, Rapidash? He didn't have this before either, did he? remember. I don't think he did. What was his team before? Fireplume, Marowak, Jolteon, and Pidgeot. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So, so Rapidash and Slowbro were new. Which is good. Those are good Pokemon for coverage, right? And they're, like, different than, like, what blue would use, right? Okay. Let's, um... Start off with a Scald. After tanking this really, really well? Good job. Good job, Sheldon. And blah, 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 blah. Didn't knock it out, though. Which is, which is extremely unfortunate. Try an Earthquake now just to conserve Scalds. It's going to damage itself a little more anyway, right? And finish this. Try not to destroy the whole building while you're at it. Boom. Hmm. This is this is fun. Like I'm doing I'm doing real well. But this this has been a fun battle so far. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who I use against Fileplume. I've got enough Pokémon to beat the rest of his team and it's burned. <laughs> It literally can't do anything. Oh, he had a full restore? Screw you! Uh, cheater. <sighs> Use Earthquake. Screw you! Ice Beam. I gonna say, I better be faster than Vileplume. It's got such tiny little feet. Okay, sure. Sheldon, return! Go! Pokemon who's almost immune to that thing he's about to do. Where did he even absorb sunlight from in here? Um, Sludge Bomb. Splat. <laughs> Splat. <laughs> We're just tossing sludge balls back and forth. And... Splat. Send out somebody that I can Mega Drain to get some of my health back, please. Yep. Marowak. That's somebody I can Mega Drain to get some of my health back, so, um... Appreciate you doing what I asked. Boop. 
And about what I expected, frankly. And that'll get me back yeah, a little more than I expected, frankly. And somehow, my Venusaur dodged his fire punch at the last second because it loves me so much. That's ridiculous. It's so big and bulky. Yeah. And that'll bring me about back up to full. What does he have left? Just Jolteon at this point, right? Uh, it's been fun, kid. Been real fun. And um, it's been so fun, in fact, that I will honor you by battling Starter against Starter. Let's go, Pikachu. Let's uh, start out with a Squishy Splash. Good job, Pikachu. It'll resist it, but I might paralyze it. Nope, I didn't paralyze it. That's unfortunate. Try again, then. Got Pin Missile. Okay. Pretty, pretty solid damage with that with that crit. Only hit two times, though. Okay. Can we paralyze it, please? Nope. All right. Um, Zippy Zap, then, because I mean, I'm, I'm I'm just toying with him at this point. Kaboom! Still not a ton of damage, but you know. He can't really do much against me either. Unless he gets like five hits with Pin Missile or something, that would kind of suck. Didn't though. Um, let's, lose, let's use Floaty Fall just for funsies. It's going to resist this too though. It resists all of my moves. But still. That did solid damage though. And I flinched it. <laughs> oh, okay. Screw you. <sighs> He's used two of those now. And I'm, I'm at this point. I feel justified in using at least one myself. So I'm probably gonna use at least one of those myself. Keep going, Pikachu. Keep floaty falling on him. Pop. Smash. Can you flinch again? No. Nope, it's gonna hit this time. Did you really think that would work? You fool. Let's, um... Really piss you off. Yeah. I've got those too. And Pikachu is thrilled to bits, which is adorable. That is an adorable thing to say. Okay. Let's, um... I don't know, try to paralyze it again just for fun? I don't, I don't even know. I am uh, wasting a lot of time, though, when I could just switch to somebody else and end this in, like, one hit. Nope, okay. Floaty fall, then. And... Bam. <laughs> Good job, Pikachu. Good job, Pikachu! You are ridiculous, Pikachu. Pikachu. Oh, screw you! <laughs> you're just... You're just postponing the inevitable at this point, kid. <sighs> How much does a Thunderbolt do? We're like speed tying too, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm not gonna use another full restore either, because I, I still don't like. Oh, nothing. I still don't like doing that. So let's switch, and you will have to live forever with the knowledge that we could have had a fair match between our starters, but you healed yours twice because you couldn't just accept a loss to me. I mean, granted, there's been several of them, and they've been bugging you ever since the first one, but you should be used to it by now, also, is the is the other takeaway from that. Uh, Mega Drain. I'm running low on these, but I should be fine. Not gonna do much. Fair warning. Get it. And that doesn't do much either, but, you know, not like it really matters at this point. 
And, um... I don't know, Leech Seed, just for fun. It's hitting with every Thunder it uses now, for some reason. Which is kind of unfortunate. Don't paralyze me, bro. Okay. I could put it to sleep, too, but, like... He only has one guy left. It feels unfair. How much health that gives me back. That's nuts. Sledge Bomb. After this thunder. Very cool animation for thunder. That was a crit, even. It couldn't knock me out. I feel bad for you. And that's it. We win. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Okay, I admit it. You're the strongest trainer in the world, hero. I know. But it feels nice to have you acknowledge it. I do like this kid. Aw oh, man, my reign is over already. That was pretty short. You're a champion now, hero. As for me, I've got a new goal to work towards. What's that? Hero. This music is great. Oh, this is so good. So you've done it at last. You've defeated the Pokemon League. My sincerest congratulations. Now you've grown a great deal since you first caught Pikachu and set out with your Pokedex. Yes, Hero, you've really come into your own as a fine young man. And Trace, you showed great resolve, never losing heart, except for all those times that you did. As you saw your journey through to the end. I did see, though, in the way that you do battle, that kind heart of yours might still be causing you to hold yourself back when it comes to your Pokémon in facing Hero. It's hardly much of a weakness, but it may have cost you the battle this time. Nah, no, he just... he wasn't as strong as me. Regardless, the two of you showed us an extraordinary battle. Th thanks Professor. Hero, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing, don't you? It was the marvelous bond you share with your Pokémon that brought you here. Now, Hero, come with me. You asked me a question, didn't even wait for an answer? That's rude. It's dumb old man. Bye, Trace. See you later. <sighs> Ahem. Congratulations, Hero. This is where we record forever the Pokemon we have, uh, who have performed so admirably for their trainers here at the Pokemon League. This is the Hall of Fame. Being honored here is one of the greatest joys a Pokemon trainer may achieve. Hero. You've battled hard to become the Pokemon League champion. Let us record this great achievement of you and your Pokemon for all to remember. Looking forward to seeing how this looks, actually. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. Hi, Pins. Tree Frog. Blaze. Sheldon, you did fine. <laughs> uh, no, Quirky Sheldon. And Spook, who also did fine. Did about as well as I could expect him to. Look at them. I do like this team a lot. I had so much fun with this. As many complaints as I have about this game, getting to revisit something like the very first Pokemon game, the very first Gen 1 Pokemon game I ever played, my very first of the first Pokemon games, I guess is the way to say it, was fun, right? <laughs> Regardless of what, what complaints I have. And like... For all, the, for all the criticisms I do have of this game, if you guys haven't played this one, I, I actually do genuinely recommend picking it up. I think it's I think it's worth it. I, I, I'm loving this little cartoon outro, too. Like, there, there's some things about it that I think are genuinely frustrating. The lack of wild battles still bugs me. It's not like I love wild battles. I it's not like I love wild encounters. I tend to try to avoid them in games where I have to battle the wild Pokemon. But, like, 
I still find grinding against wild Pokemon in battle more fun than grinding catches, if that makes sense. And it just... It feels like I should have the option, right? Maybe turn off wild battles, but I can still battle the Pokemon and then try to catch them after, like all the various overworld encounters and legendaries, right? You, you, you know what I mean. There's like there's more more than just those overworld. You get what I'm saying. The like static guaranteed overworld encounters, because th that mechanics in the game. Why not just let it be a thing, right? I don't know. It it, it bugs me. It shouldn't bug me, but it bugs me. But but all but all in all, for for the most part. Aside from a few things that really annoyed me, like I don't like the 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 gym prerequisite thing. Uh, they they clearly only did it because the original Gen One games were more open world than they wanted when they were designing this one. But um, like I like I don't I don't think that should be here. But but overall, the things that they updated rather than changing them outright in this game tended to be pretty freaking good. Still baffling to me that there's Megas in it, but no abilities, because Megas and ability changes feel like like just, like, they go hand in hand with each other. But, but still, I think, I think this is actually, overall it rounds out to be a good game. And you guys should play it if you haven't. Like, I don't think it's full price anymore, is it? Maybe it is. I don't know. Wait until it goes on sale and, and get it. But yeah. Janichi Masuda. <laughs> Satoshi Tajiri! Yeah! Those are two names I know! <laughs> Also, the music in it is just spectacular. I cannot, I cannot stress that enough. Oh, this is cute. Like, okay, so in the intended story of these games, this is you returning to your hometown after your journey. Oh, that's cute. Ah, Pikachu, I love you. Um, but in, in Hero's case, it's just Hero returning to the the house that he and his mom are Airbnb in on their trip. That's cute. Yep. Very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. Um, I'm going to stop here, though, because, like... First of all, I'm not 100% sure the Unknown Dungeon... Uh, or Cerulean K, or whatever you want to call it... Um, opens after your first time through the Elite Four in this game. It might only open after you do the rematches. Not sure. Also, like I said, I need to grind up before I fight Mewtwo. It's Mewtwo, and I'm like, like, 17 levels lower than what I'm guessing his level is. So I'm going to stop here, and um, I am recording these way ahead of time, so I should have plenty of time to come back and, um, and do one more episode before these episodes go live for this three-episode session, right? But yeah, um... This has been fun.